Resins are a very important group of chemicals that we find in plants. Resins are actively secreted in ducts. There are specialized cells within the plants that produce the resin. The resins themselves have an anti-herbivore type action, which means they keep the plant from being consumed, and they are polymerized terpenes. A terpene is made up of two isoprene units. You've got these two 5-carbon units together that gives you a 10-carbon unit. You can see the stick drawing on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, it shows where the carbons and the hydrogens are. They are hydrocarbons. These can be polymerized into 15, 20, 25, 30 carbon units, which make them much larger. They are often associated with volatile oil. Sometimes when you extract the resin, they extract the volatile oil, and then they will use the volatile oil for something else. They are all basically water insoluble. A common type of resin that you get is turpentine. This is turpentine. You see the word terpene in it. It is polymerized terpenes. It is a type of material that will remove or dissolve a lot of different materials such as paints. This is often used as a paint thinner or to clean up paint with. When we look at resins, there are a lot of different types. Clearly, they're polymerized terpenes with volatile oils. The first is frankincense. Now, look at the word. You see the word incense. Incense is a type of material that we set fire to that releases off certain fragrances. When you're looking at incense, it provides a fragrance. This is often due to the oils and other materials that are burned off when you light it. Frankincense is a biblical type material. It is collected from plants. You can see the scientific name Boswellia sacra. Sacra meaning sacred. This goes back to a very important material in the past. It was often used as an incense to impart a fragrance into the air where otherwise the air might not be very fragrant. This is a plant showing you the flowers. The flowers are quite pretty. You can see the stamens almost in a crown-like format out of this plant. You would collect to little gum-like nuggets and the little gum-like nuggets would be burnt as an incense and it would give you the fragrance from it. Another resin is myrrh. Remember, biblical statement, frankincense and myrrh. These are an incense type of material that would be used. Myrrh comes from a variety of thorny based shrubs. You can see the thorns on these. The resin is extruded on these. It collects they remove that material we have mastic mastic comes out in a tear shaped drop the material is dried they call this mastic mastic means to eat they used it as a gum you can buy mastic gum it's kind of the original chewing type gum we have lacquer lacquer comes from the plant toxicodendrum verniciferum this is a relative of poison ivy Lacquer itself tends to give allergic reactions because of proteins on the inside of it. They have to extract it. But when you do get the lacquer out, it is an absolutely marvelous material to use to seal wood and other things. You can see the gloss on this box that was coated with lacquer. Lacquer often gives a very deep shine resin type material that is removed from this type of plant. In our area, we have pitch turpentine, and rosin. All of these are removed from pine trees. There are a lot of different kinds of pines. Pines in our area grow up like this. This is a one out in California. If they become disturbed, you get these drippings of this resinous type material. There used to be a rather large industry in North and Central Florida. They would take pine trees, they would shave the pine tree down like this, creating this type of injury this material would flow off. So you could collect the sappy type material on the inside. You'd be able to get the resinous type material off of the outside. If you heated it up a certain way, you would drive off the volatile oils that could be collected into materials like turpentine, and you would be left with this dry, gummy-like material that would be rosin. Rosin is often used to absorb material or to make something slip a little bit better. These are important materials that we get from pine trees. There are a lot of different types of resin. And they're all made out of isoprene units from that we can get these important products.